All right, finally back. Part four of the boat restoration video. I know a lot of you have been anticipating this one, and I'm sorry that it's taken so long. We're at the mercy of the weather on this project, and it's been raining for a solid month here where we're at. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And uh, yeah. so I don't know if you can tell, but the weather has not been kind. Um, it's caused this to elevate and caused this to split and uh, that to raise up over there. Now, of course, these are all minor things compared to how the wood was before on the boat. But, yeah, it's still going to have to be fixed. Yeah, I don't know how that happened at all. Like, this is, this is, this is pressure treated, so it's supposed to be made for being out in the weather, but... I just don't understand how that quite happened like that. Maybe a mixture of the heat and everything else, I'm not sure, but yeah, all around the boat it's like that. Right here, this screw was apparently popped out. So I'm gonna have to fix that. And there's no bolt there, that's for the rail. Mm. It's like it's gonna be a lot of extra work. But yeah, what you gotta do. First thing I'm gonna do is clean it off. So all of the uh, water seal is on the boat. Now we have to let it sit for a day, uh, about 12, 14 hours I'd say. And then uh, after that we can begin putting on the carpet. So uh, we'll get back to you after that. Okay, so the stain's dry. 
Now we've got to fix this hump right here. You can probably see it from here. Basically, my, I have a plan for this. So I'm going to take this C-clamp right here. And I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to clamp it down. And then I'm going to run a bolt through here. Just hold it with the drill. And then hopefully that will hold it in place while we are putting on carpet. And then we can go from there. All right, so we're gonna be going ahead and sealing up any cracks, gluing stuff back together, and uh, the next thing I'm gonna do after I would glue this back together is I'm gonna be filling in these cracks with silicone. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead. So I got it done, it was a pretty messy job but it is all done now. Now the reason why I had such a problem is because half of this roll of this Sikasil is dried up. As you can see I only used about half of it and the rest of it is just solid silicone that's already dried up and set up in there. And I'll show you another example on a bottle that I actually split open on accident. I don't know if you can tell this but this has actually split open and right in there is a the silicone. Now, right now that should be like spewing out, but it's not because it's already hardened. And so, yeah, that's how the rest of the tube is. So, yeah. All right, so it's been sitting up for about a day. This one and uh, one down here. They look like they're about ready to come off. After that, we're going to be rounding these corners off with a jigsaw because, uh, well, the piece of metal doesn't fit on correctly, so I'm going to do that next. Uh, so yeah, let's go.
So we thought that this carpet that we had laying around would do the trick. It would be big enough. As you can see, it's not. I have it completely rolled out here on the boat. And it doesn't reach all the way on either end. So we are going to have to go buy some. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, I know that part four has been heavily delayed. Or, well, this part. And I do apologize for that. But, yeah, I mean, I'm finished with it now. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoy this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Turn on the notifications if you haven't already. Subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.